welcome to my office. I wanted to show you guys exactly how I designed my office and why. is actually a dining room table. I love the width of it. I love that you can really spread things out when you have your papers, your meetings, your designs, whatever it is you're working on. For me, that only really works with a dining room table size. This one I found on One King's Lane many years ago. I like some of the pieces in my formal living room. I did not even have this house. I just knew that when I had my own home um, outside of New York City, I would need massive workspace, and that's exactly what this provides. I also got this chest. Now this you will find in the bedroom section of One Kings Lane, although I did get it many years ago. But for me, I thought it was a beautiful way to keep my things organized. It's hand-painted, quite feminine, um, but I thought that it balanced the heaviness of the desk slash dining room table really well. So that's a piece that I also didn't, um, I didn't know I was going to get this home. Um, so when you think about filling a room, you don't have to be that precious, which is just to say like, if you love it, it will most likely work. This piece is another one that I had before I had the house. It's made out of recycled seat belts. I love sustainability. I think that's super, super cool. And again, took a risk on the green color. But for me, this kind of Kelly green goes really well with the sweet pink. And I love it. For me, the big kind of piece in this room is the wallpaper. And that was a gift to myself for my 40th birthday. It is by a company called De Gournay. It is hand painted. And the reason that you see these little squares instead of full pieces of wallpaper is because you can choose. And I chose to do it this way because that's how wallpaper was made originally. A long, long time ago um, in China, when um, traders were coming over to England, they would bring these small pieces of tea paper and it would be all hand painted. And the British would use it as wallpaper. And it would be these sizes of these little squares. So as I was making this selection, I could choose between um, today's modern kind of size wallpaper, same exact painting, or I could choose these small T-squares, which is what I went with, just to keep that authenticity, um, which I absolutely love. It is such a gift to come in here every day, um, which is important, because what we're talking about business-wise these days isn't always a gift, so it's lovely to have a room um, that I love to sit in. These sketches are something that you guys could also incorporate in your home. I did have one of my favorite designers sketch them for me so young of um, pictures, actual photographs of myself and my daughters and Delphine. But there are so many people that you could find on the internet. You just give them a photograph of you or whomever you would like and ask for it to be in a croaky style. Croaky is what we call fashion sketches um, where they elongate the legs and the body and just look fabulous. This picture um, of these two supers I bought at an auction. Doing something good at the same time, so that picture is special to me. These are bowls made in Africa, made out of paper and trash, but look how gorgeous. They were able to create such magic. Um, and so for me, these types of give back brands that are just completely about giving back are so important. This is potpourri. And it's like potpourri that I've never seen before. They're actually little pieces of crystal. And it's from a store called Guard, which 
is fabulous. It is in Los Angeles, but they have a website you could look up. And every so often, you just put a little bit of this on, and it smells better, in my opinion, than any potpourri, any candle you could ever get. This guy is very special. I went to Haiti um, not long after they had a really big earthquake that affected a lot of the um, employment um, in that country. And I went with the CEO of Macy's at the time, Terry Lundgren and Martha Stewart. And the reason we went was to source what we could um, sell in Macy's and how we could uh, further employment there. And this piece I bought from an artisan. It is made from all sorts of different trash that was found by an artisan after the earthquake. And to me, he is just fabulous. Just a reminder of, again, what beauty can come from humans, um, no matter what you're going through. I, I just think it's so special. Basically, everything in here means something special to me. Um, and if it doesn't, it doesn't need to be in here. Just the idea of decluttering for me allows for more organization while you're working. So something as simple as pencils, but all in the same color with a nice sharp tip so that you're actually excited to write. I know it sounds silly, but for me, it works. These pillows are made by the same company as the bowls and also a give back. So these are made by artisans. Um, they're actually made by refugees that are relocated in the United States and need work. And look how chic, I just love those. Two dining room chairs are from One King's Lane. Again, dining room chairs, you know, you don't have to always go with what you think you need, right? So I needed two chairs at the front, at the head of my desk, but instead of looking for office chairs, I knew that dining room chairs are always designed a little nicer. This bar cart, as much as I would like to have a nice drink while I'm working, for me, I filled it up with inspiration. So you can buy these little bar, bar carts. They fit really nicely into tiny corners, but fill it up with anything you want. It doesn't have to be what it was designed for or what it was sold for. And so all of my inspiration is here. Um, a little piece that I got from the White House. That's very special to me. And then these dried leaves and this tree bark is from downtown LA where all the wholesale flowers are. And it's really interesting what you can find when you go to these wholesale places, but sometimes you can get real pieces of art. So when I moved in, these two doors were not here. This was actually the dining room and I put two French doors to match the French doors um, for the entrance of the office and just kind of closed it off as my own personal office space. Um, again, you know, do what works for you and do what you need. How often do people actually eat in a formal dining room? Hardly ever but I'm in here every single day, multiple times a day, especially during COVID. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of my home office and why I chose what I chose. Hopefully you guys came away with some tips and pretty soon I'll give you a tour of the rest of the house. See you later.